been going my way And though I need you here You clear my mind All the time And baby The way you move me is crazy It's like you see right through me and make it easier You please me, you don't even have to try Oh, because you are the best thing You are the best thing You are the best thing when I needed a friend. And you made everything better. Fuck. I'm happy you, I'm happy you dropped the first F-bomb before I did. There's a B. I enjoyed all the times we had hanging out at your apartment, doing homework, listening to vinyls, and especially our amazing indoor basketball skills. I remember the little things like making a fort, going to dinner, laughing, and enjoying every minute of it. You've gotten along with my friends, taking us fishing, cooking, and just hanging out. I distinctly remember thinking if, <laughs> if he gets along with my friends and enjoys being around them, then he's the keeper. Long story short, the little things became the big things, which brings us here today, our wedding day. I am so happy that our friendship turned into a relationship and that now I get to say I am marrying my best friend. Okay. <laughs> you have been there for me when I needed you the most. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Long distance for six years hasn't been easy and I am so excited to start our lives together, just the two of us. I believe we will have our challenges as we try to figure out living together, since we've never done it. <laughs> but there is no one I would rather do it with. So from this day forward, I promise you these things. Okay. 
I will always stay true to you and work things out, even when we fight. Thank you. Thank you. I I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams and comfort you. No, sorry. I will share in your dreams and support you with your goals. I will help you when you need it and step aside when you don't. You are my best friend and I will love and respect you always. I promise to play indoor basketball with you at least once a month or as much as we can. And my biggest promise to you is that we will make tacos together once, maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. I love you, Dave. Dave, you're up. I have a mic. Is this mic going to work? No? Okay, deal. <sighs> All right. Brittany. All day today, my friends have asked, uh, oh, I'm crying. Um, thank you. Uh, if I was nervous, or if I was prepared, or if I needed an emergency bag and a plane ticket. Um, and the answer was always no. And it's, it's <laughs> once it starts, it's over. Uh, <laughs> It's because this is not cliche at all. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's gonna take it out. It is. It is hard, Mike. We just got married and did it too. Uh, so, um, you bring out the best in me in every circumstance, and there is no one I would ever rather be or spend the rest of my life with. You make me take courageous chances. You allow me to express myself freely. And you continuously, continuously push me to become a better person always. Uh, I know you're going to be a wonderful life partner and an even better mother to any and all of our future children. Uh, the future is exciting, yet still scary, of course. Um, I know it won't be easy and we won't always see eye to eye, but the amount of love and trust we have for each other gives me confidence that no matter what the decision is and whichever one of us it might make angry, it's always in the better of ourselves and our future family. Uh, these things I want to promise to you. I promise to spend every day loving you and putting your needs in front of my own. I promise to support you regardless of how I think I should react because I love you more than my own reactions. Um, even if it involves me on hold while you yell at drivers with all your windows up. And I also promise to <laughs> always have a Tito's water and lemon ready when you are having a bad day. Also when you are having a good day. Because forever I just wanted to be your favorite bartender. And I promise I'll always try to be your favorite bartender. Uh, most importantly, what I am trying to say on an angle is I promise to do whatever it takes always. You are my best friend and the love of my life, and I promise to always ensure that you are showered with happiness and love, always and forever. <sighs> with this ring. With this ring. I marry you and bind my life to yours. I marry you and bind my life to yours. It's a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And my promise of all tomorrows. And my promise of all tomorrows. Brittany, as you place this ring on David's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. It's a symbol of my eternal love. It's a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And a promise of all my tomorrows. 
Brittany and David, on behalf of all present and by the strength of your own love, I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, known to many others as Steve, you may now kiss your bride. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to be the very first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. David Pelletier. Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Right now, I am so glad to introduce you to our bride and groom, Lexi Reform husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. David and Brittany Pelletier. So, uh, I'm not really good at advice, but if I was to give you three things, I would say um, one is the Christian rule that I learned from a boss a long time ago. You never regret doing the right thing. So let's just remember that when you go home, you guys have that fun day, and then you have that bad day, that whatever that gets you to, you remember not yelling at the other one just because you can, but doing the right thing. So before I toast you guys, I have a couple gifts that I want you guys to have. <clears throat> and Tom, you made a great point. Yesterday we were at dinner, for the rehearsal dinner, and he said they had Brittany the first time they met her, sitting at a table, and something went on a commercial or something, and they went over to the golf channel. And Brittany went, no, no golf. Ah, and they go, you know, if we had the fishing channel and she said no, she would have been out right then and there. <laughs> so for Dave, <laughs> I got you for your man cave. <laughs> I want to know, can you help me? Oh my god, it took it off. <laughs> it doesn't turn off, it's got a mind of You got to press? <laughs> and uh, when me and Gail were married, I had a ring made uh, when I was down in Florida. And she gave it back to me, and I told her I was going to give it to Brittany when uh, she got married someday, which she's getting married today. The ring's significant because when I had it made, um, it had a diamond for Gail, and then it had four little diamonds that represented me, Gail, Brittany, and Courtney. And that will never change, so as she wears that, she'll remember us. Um, <clears throat> Gail had this picture done. It's all about family, and I just wanted them to take it with them to Columbus. It's one of my favorite ones, so hopefully uh, she'll enjoy that. Now, the toast. <laughs> you guys, if you guys could raise your glasses. Today I get to be the second luckiest man in the room. <clears throat> I do want to toast the new David and Brittany Pelletier. <laughs> and of course. Brittany, I am so glad to call you my sister. Welcome to Team Pelletier. Now, Brittany, something I haven't done ever till today. Time to be real with you about this boy. Here's four things you thought you knew about David that you had no idea about. If David didn't get diabetes, he would look like me. But, 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 one thing, one thing. He'd be a lot bigger. Diabetes. Diabetes. 
David always grew up wanting to be a science teacher. No reason why. I don't know why. He didn't like science at all. He thinks he's never wrong. Wait, Brittany, you already knew that. And the fourth one, last but not least, Brittany, last but not least, he's your problem. Not mine anymore. <laughs> but, but it's okay, it's okay. Because David loves Brittany, and all you need is love from the Beatles. Yeah. At this time, I'm gonna bring up a special guest For a performance, for her first, from her favorite movie, My Little Girl Isabella. At this time, while you guys are all standing up, let's raise our glasses and give a toast to David. Ready? You guys all know it. Cheers to David. Cheers to David. Cheers to David, you're a horse's ass. Seeing as I'm the younger sister, I've known Brittany my entire life. There are many attempts to get rid of me when I was younger. I mean, she even went as far as pushing me down the stairs when I was a baby. Thankfully unsuccessful, I'm still here. <laughs> One thing I do remember most about growing up was attending her dance performances and watching her on stage. She always had such grace about her and she was so talented. It was truly admirable. Well, especially because I look like a flopping fish when I'm dancing. I know you can vouch for that. Get ready. <laughs> There are endless memories with Brit I wish I had time to get into, from family cruises, trips to Mexico, Girl Scouts, and Wisconsin Dells. Growing up with Brit by my side, I, I knew I always had a forever friend. But obviously, it wasn't flowers and rainbows. I mean, <laughs> we're two girls, 18 months apart. <laughs> there was hair pulling, slapping, headlocks, mostly me, and Brittany spitting, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did it. <laughs> Yet, I can't think of a single, mo a single instant in our lives that she wasn't there for me right when I needed her the most. And I'm beyond excited to stand next to her on this big day. Dave. Oh, sorry, Dave. <laughs> I've never seen somebody mold into this family as quickly and effortlessly as you have. Because, as I'm sure you know by now, we're a little bit crazy. <laughs> but you just roll with the punches and give them just right back. <laughs> right? Um, I remember when Britt was telling me she was interested in a guy and that her and her friends would go see Hot Pants Dave. I didn't know that was in their vows, so sorry. 
Um, but then Dave just started showing up with Britt when she came home for holidays and from school, and he just became part of this crazy family. There are endless memories with you two as a couple, from crazy drinking game, sorry, from crazy drinking games in Green Lake with the family, playing dreidel at Hanukkah, and our three-day Christmas marathon, jumping around from house to house to house. <laughs> Um, but I can tell you the most memorable moment uh, was on my dad's 50th surprise party when Dave took me to the side and told me he was going to propose to Brittany that March while they were visiting me in Grenada. I asked him who knew Sue so far, and he told me I was the first to know. That meant the absolute world to me. I was ecstatic to, for them to get engaged and thrilled that even though I was studying in a foreign country at the time, he found a way to involve me in such an important moment of our lives. <laughs> I know, I don't even know why I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite memory of you two as a couple was when you guys surprised me up at Augustana for my 21st birthday. I remember mom telling me to grab Butters, my cat, in the back of the car, and then I opened the door and you two were huddled there with Butters right in the middle of you guys. And I was so happy that you guys were there to celebrate with me. I do not think I could have properly celebrated without you, and I mean Dave putting the furniture in the elevator was priceless. <laughs> I'm beyond, excite, uh, sorry. I'm beyond excited to watch the next chapter of your lives unfold together as husband and wife. I'm ecstatic to have a new brother. One piece of advice, Dave. Make sure you say these three special words every day. You are right. <laughs> Whenever you're wrong, be a man and admit it. Whenever you're right, say nothing. <laughs> As they say, a man that gives in when he's wrong is wise. A man that gives in when he's right is married. <laughs> One last thing before I end this speech. Before this moment passes and becomes a memory for you to cherish all your lives, don't forget to live a little and dance a lot. Let's raise our glasses one last time to the real reason we're all here, the open bar. <laughs> And Brittany and Dave, let's get this Pelletier started. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep this dance floor clear. The bride and groom are about to have their first dance, but first, I gave them the microphone. And they've got a few words they want to share with their guests. I came at a terrible time. It's okay. I want to, hey, hey, bride. I'm down over that. So nice to see you. I don't know what happened. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay. There's a lot of things going on today. Um... Yes, so uh, we would just. Shut your mouth. You guys, the girl's talking, shut up! She's awesome. That was Crystal. Thanks, Crystal. No problem, I got you back. Don't worry. Yeah, so uh, this is a great day. Uh, family's coming together. Uh, Brittany looks so hot today. <laughs> um, and. Uh, yeah. I know. I would, Unreal. Um, but yeah, so thank you. I, you know, it's not a very big room, so it was very difficult for us to select who we wanted around us. Uh, and so just, just know that if you had a seat today, like VIP, you know, like it's just thank you for everything you've ever done to help us become who we are. And thank you for making us good people that found each other because it's, you know, butterfly effect. You do one thing and it helps the greater cause and all that fun stuff. Um, so if uh, we've spent an hour and made it to three tables, so if we don't come to your table, don't be offended, because um, we're not gonna come to all of them. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, so, so yeah, so eat it. Um, and uh, we love you, thank you very much. Would you like to? Say anything, Miss Anxiety? Nope. All right. Well, on behalf of myself and my lovely, beautiful wife, uh, yeah! thank you for thank you for being here and supporting us. And uh, we'll probably call most of you with issues in the future uh, and need money. So, uh, yeah, I'm just let you know now. I know that grandma would have loved her like she was her own. She makes me feel at 
If you miss me, I'll be there to brush the sunlight from your hair. I'll be there to guide you when trouble walks beside you. If you need me. I'll be there And when this dirty world Has been called to Even someone they love Cowboys like smoky old pool rooms And clear mountain morning Little warm puppy Children and girls of night And them that don't know him won't like him And them that do sometimes won't know how to take him He ain't wrong, he's just different But his pride won't let him do things To make you think he's right When I close my eyes 